for the upcoming 2.6 patch, we want to start uh, digging into balance on, on a larger scale than we have done before. Kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit, not too far, obviously. Um, so that meant finding out where do we start? What's the first thing we do? There's always dependencies with everything. So try and find the fundamental thing that we might end up changing that's going to affect a lot of other things. The flight model was, was, was that thing. Um, and what we decided and what we started to do to test it was to pick one ship, we picked the Gladius, we lowered the SCM speed to try and make combat not really slower but a little easier to control and so you're not you know, flying backwards and forth at really high speeds. I mean, the, the Newtonian physics that we use, the IFCS flight model, is complicated, it's complex, it allows for a lot of depth to the combat, but it's also kind of intimidating, especially when you've got you know, a, an SCM speed of 350, you've got ships going really fast and a lot of um, throttle management to do to get decent in combat. So uh, we took the Gladius, we lowered the speeds down to about, I think, 140. I mean, it's like a rough halving of the speeds to see how it would affect gameplay. And then rebalanced a few ships around that. Okay, make everything slower. How does that feel in a dogfight situation? Um, and also, not just speeds wise, but we sped up the accelerations. Um, so the stop times were lower, which meant there was less slide when it comes to ship ship maneuverability. Uh, it can take a little bit of time to get to top acceleration when you're turning so that even that staggers the uh, the speeds as well. Makes everything feel heavier, gives, gives the ships more character. But to sort of fill that gap where we've cut into the SCM speeds, we've, we've um, it made some changes to the afterburner. Um, we'll be making further changes to the afterburner but we wanted to you know, tweak the fuel limits on that so people used it more. The idea that in a combat situation, if you're not moving fast enough or if you need to escape faster, afterburner is what you'd use now because it should be like a, a, a something that you, you don't use all the time, something you use every now and then just, that just gets you out of a combat situation if you need to. Afterburner didn't really have that much of a purpose before, now it does. We set up some tests where all the designers were invited to play test and see what their opinions of it were and it was mostly positive, you know, say overwhelmingly positive, which has meant we've put together a patch uh, uh, based on the 2.5 build. So it's like an interim patch that includes fixes, well, rebalancing of the ship speeds. But we'll go out to Evocati for them to play test and give us feedback on that. Um, and eventually more players will get to try it too, if it's uh, favorable. Or, you know, if it's not, we'll, we'll still try and make changes based on that too. Ship flight, ship handling, is the is the main fundamental. What we build upon from there is uh, in, in ship balancing will be ship shields, ship health, missiles and weapons. Right now I'm starting to look at weapons but we've already done a pass which should be in the Evocati build as well on shields. And what we did was we've got some sort of pre-planned numbers, future numbers where we wanted to take the shields later when they be redeveloped and refactored. Um, we sort of ported those into the old system we have with the shields, which should mean we get a little taster of, of how those shield classes might perform. Um, and I expect there'll be a lot of feedback on that and there'll be a lot to change. Um, but that's why we did it. It's a, it's a good chance for Evocati to get hands on it and go, eh, that's not quite right. And we'll react to that when we can. But yeah, the missile changes, I think, uh, Johnny will be talking a bit more about that.